Hey, what's up, guys? Y'all know what? Me and my crazy self. I am going to do a seafood broil. Okay. It's not a big one, but it's a small one. And it's it, it consists of crawfish, crayfish, whatever y'all say. I say crawfish. Corn and potato. Now, I didn't put a lot of potato in it. I'm going to turn around and show y'all what I'm about to do. And I got I got the little extra uh, thing sitting over there so I can let the phone sit before me so I can eat them. So, hold on. There we go. Right there. There's my sauce. There's my soda. And there's my shrimp. Now, those are shrimps that I had earlier. Okay. So, now I'm back on me. Oh, my son's about to... Quiet! Anyway, so here we go. This is my seafood boil number one, crayfish. And I got a lot more to come because I want to do real fish. So on and so forth. So here we go. Oh, child. My, um... My back been hurting me all day long, like literally all day long. So we gonna dip on in to this crawfish. Let me tell you something. I go and get these crawfish from the little market by my house and they be just as stale. And I say, I want the crawfish. You know, I get them in Vallejo and out there, Oh my God. Anyway, so I, um, when I buy them, I be mad. I be like, oh, can I just get around them? But I got these and they so orange and beautiful. And I know I'm about to enjoy them. I know I am. So here we go. Some people may not eat the head of the, the, not, not eat it, but just mm, mm. y'all don't know crawfish <coughs> until you literally, literally, literally eat them. You have to know what you're doing, though, okay? You can't just be sitting up here picking over stuff and not knowing what you're doing, honey. Mm-hmm. This is so good. I don't leave nothing behind, okay? I eat everything, baby. Yes, sir. I got me some... Fried uh, shrimp from earlier. Oh. Mm, mm. And I made my own little sauce. But I know it ain't be love sauce. But I love it. <clears throat> I got the potato. I got to kind of slow down. Because if I don't slow down, I'll end up choking because of the spice. That goes down my throat and gets stuck right on my throat. So, if you guys don't know how to do this, it's so easy and simple. All you have to do is buy you a good seasoning. And I did, I bought the Slap Your Mama seasoning. And I use that. Oh, that thing fell inside this thing. Yeah! Call my son. Give me a towel or something. You do the corn. Mm-hmm. You don't know about a seafood boil until you had all of this. And it's so good, baby. Mm. Yeah. Today, 
Bring me a towel. Today, we tried fried corn. The people that own this spot where we go is from New Orleans. I don't know if they're Asian, what Asian they are, Korean. I don't know, but most people might say, oh, that's not Asian. Okay, excuse me. <clears throat> so I don't know what they are, what their race is, but they are some, whew. Tastes so good. Slap, when you want to slap your mama. There's hunting. Bring that down. I'm waiting. So I did make my own sauce. Okay. Now I'm going to ask B Love. What am I missing? I've been te emailing her, but she ain't emailed me back. And people is busy. Watching Deadly Sin. This man on here killed the lady he was dating. She had a baby by him. And he killed her and the baby. What a sick son of a sea cook. Because he could have killed himself. You know what I'm saying? If you didn't want to live with something that you did because you was buried, you should have you should have damn killed yourself. Damn fool. I just got understand silliness. Like it was all good to do the cheating until she got pregnant. Sickening. Now I'm supposed to be sitting this stuff to the side and I'm finna have my son give me a plate. Yeah. Do me a favor. Yeah. Go over there and get me another plate. These crawfishes are so good. They like literally got heck of heck of heck of meat. People be crazy. Y'all don't understand how crazy folks is. Folks is nuts nowadays. You know, they be wanting to Going killing sprees and all that. That just don't make no sense. See? You see how big that is? How much meat that is? It's jummy. Mm -hmm. Is now trying to maintain a relationship with their daughter and Kelly's two other sons. Doug was an equal father to all the kids, whether he was their natural father or not. But even as Doug still pines for his wayward ex, Kelly is eager to move on to her next conquest. You'd think a mother free and <clears throat> of a divorce wouldn't have much free time, but when lust I ain't never got no free time. Never. <laughs> like, free time? What's free time? I ain't got no free time. You see how we're doing it? Go over there and get me a, a, a plate. On that plate, could you look in that pot 
and bring me some potatoes. And don't put a lot of uh, sauce on it because I got sauce over here. My my crawfish pot. Is it single? Like I said, I got to be careful <coughs> with how I eat this stuff. Because the spice can get caught in my throat and tear me apart. <clears throat> I'll be coughing for like an hour almost. <coughs> like right now. Dropping shit all on the floor, honey. All the better for Doug, who gets to spend <sighs> more time with the kids. But it's only a matter of a few months before Kelly reveals her face. Oh, God, my hip, y'all, my hip. I know that she put him out of the car a few times and made him walk. He wouldn't tell me what the fight was about. And Thank you, sir. You only got me two. <laughs> That's my son. Mind you guys, so this is my first, this is my first seafood boil video, okay? And I know some of y'all might think, ew, she eat the head of the, the thing. Yep, I sure do. I spare no crawfish, okay? It's time to eat, it's time to eat. If this video stops. I'm going to just post it anyway, okay? Because usually face not Facebook, but YouTube won't allow you to do a certain amount. I guess you have to be big time. Mm -hmm. Let me see. That's some good corn, honey. Now I know y'all be like, well, how is this some good corn? Because you dipping it. You dipping it all in this sauce. Let me show y'all my sauce. That's how my sauce look. It's not as red and fiery looking as everybody else's. But I get the point. And I, when I find out what to put in it to make it that red color, then I'm going to have it going on. It's spicy. And I can taste it. So I know I got some type of sauce going on. I just need to have that certain color that it turns when most people have it. So it was good. See how, see how, um, what do you call that? How fresh this look. When I got, and they're big too. When I got them from the little market by my house, they were small, very small. And they just didn't have that taste to them. Yeah. Yeah. Do I look poke? I hope everybody's having a great weekend, because I am. I'm having a fabulous weekend. But I don't know why I'm having a fabulous well, I, My weekend started. Because I got these crawfish. My birthday is in, what day is this? June 2nd. So my birthday's in eight more days. My daughter's is in six days. She's my oldest child. And we are born two days apart. That is so beautiful. Remember, y'all, 
if this video stops right in the middle of me eating, just know that what I did was my one number one seafood boil for you guys. I hope this <laughs> I hope this brought some type of pleasure to somebody. Cause you know how people be hating. Look the hot. I hate hot food. Spicy hot and steamy hot. I hate it both. <laughs> and it's always steamy hot and spicy hot when it's good. <laughs> yes, baby, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Now I'm going to start going for just eating the tail first. These people be crazy on... Um, it'd be... Uh, uh, people be crazy on this ID channel. Yes, yes. I'm having fun. Don't ruin the moment. Sorry. Don't ruin the moment. <laughs> Wait until I'm off the live. <laughs> and these are just fried shrimp that I got from the place that I got my crawfish from. It's called Soul Trans and Galeo. So if anybody watches this video from Vallejo, California, Solano County, the Bay Area, this is a place that I would drive to if I lived in San Francisco. Excuse me. 